So do you struggle when it's windy outside on trying to get some excellent audio? Are you not sure how to hide your lav mic? In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you how I get good audio even on the windiest of days. And that video is coming up next. But first, if you're new to my channel, my name is Brian, the camera guy. I review Sony gear along with accessories for those cameras. Today is the first episode of Quick Tip Tuesday. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about how I can get good audio even when I'm outdoors shooting a video just like this. So it is very windy out here. I'm gonna go ahead, switch over to the Rode Video Micro and hopefully you'll be able to hear how windy it is. I'm not sure if you can see the trees in the background, but we're gonna switch over to the Rode Video Micro and I'm gonna show you how windy it is. So we're gonna switch over now. All right, so now we're back with the Rode Video Micro. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, it is very windy out here. Um, of course now the wind's not blowing at all. So, but I do have the Rode Video Micro on right now. I do have I do have the dead cat on to help try and cut down on some of that noise. Hopefully you can hear some of that wind. If not, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty windy. So when that wind picks up like it is right now, so that wind is picking up right now. So hopefully you can hear that wind and let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, this is the Rode Video Micro. So let's go ahead and switch back over to the lav mic and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, welcome back. All right, so now, how do I get the lav mic hidden so there's nothing up here on the collar? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that now. Recently I saw a video by Sidney Deonson. I'll go ahead and link that video up here if you wanna check that out. In there he talked about his secret weapon on how he hides his lav mic. But I do have an alternative option for you. This one uh, should hopefully be able to help out some of my hairier friends. But I think this is a pretty neat tip. But I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you right now. So right now I do have the Boya BY M1 lav mic hooked up, and I'm gonna show you how I hide it. So this way you don't see any mics. Um, so first and foremost, um, it's a hot day, but that's okay. Um, but on this hot day, I am wearing two shirts, and uh, the first shirt is obviously the exterior shirt, Captain America, favorite superhero. Uh, but I am wearing two shirts. Uh, the second shirt is is a muscle shirt and right down here right down here we got the lav mics i run it underneath the muscle shirt and that hopefully should block out most of the wind hey guys editing brian here uh, one of the things i did forget to mention is you can always use your Rode wireless go system so if you haven't picked that up there are links down in the description below um, but one of the things that I like to do is keep that wireless transmitter in my pocket, hook it up to my Boya BYM1 lav mic, run that up to another part of my shirt, go ahead and capture that crispy audio right from there. So once again, you can use the Rode Wireless Go system and the Boya BYM lav mic to hide that lav mic and keep that crispy audio. Do me a favor, comment down below whether you wanna see more of these Quick Tip Tuesdays. Also, in those comments, make sure you let me know what you wanna see me cover. So do you want me to do some editing? Do you want me to cover more quick camera tips? Comment down below and let me know what you wanna see and I'll try and hit those in one of my next videos. Uh, this is Editing Brian, let's throw it back to Video Brian. So we'll throw that out there to Brian the Camera Guy. Take it away. So that's my tip to getting good audio outdoors, even on the windiest of days. So if you have any comments, make sure you leave them down below. Like this video, subscribe, to see more, click that bell notification, and feel free to hit me up on Instagram if you have any further questions. Once again, this is Brian the Camera Guy. Thanks for joining me on Quick Tip Tuesday. See you in the next one. Bye. What is that for? I currently have it uh, turned on to camera, obviously, so you can get good audio. That's stupid, but we'll keep moving on.